Principal investigators must provide radiation survey meters or appropriate counting instruments for use in radioactive materials labs. The survey or counting instrument must be able to detect the type of radiation used in the lab. If you have questions regarding the type of instrumentation, contact the Radiation Safety Office or refer to Section 4 of the Radiation Safety Manual. Geiger-Muller or GM survey instruments with the appropriate probe, such as a pancake probe, work best for most beta and gamma detection and some alpha. These survey meters are handheld and portable. The liquid scintillation counter is mainly used for low energy alpha and betas, but can be used to detect most types of radioactive materials depending on how the counter analysis sequence is set up. Portable survey meters need to be calibrated to ensure that they are functioning appropriately. Radiation Safety will calibrate portable survey meters at least annually and will replace weak or defective batteries and attempt some minor repairs as needed. Before you use a survey meter, verify the survey meter is in calibration. The survey meter will have a sticker on the side of the instrument with the calibration date and the calibration due date. The date of use of the survey meter must fall within these dates. If not, replace the survey meter with one that is in calibration. Turn on the speaker because this allows the operator to audially follow and better control the position of the detector probe while monitoring. The speaker responds more quickly to changes in radiation levels than the meter. Test the battery by moving the selector switch to BAT, B-A-T-T, or by pressing the battery test button. The needle should move to BAT test or BAT OK on the meter face. If the needle does not move as required, replace the batteries. Verify operability by placing the probe in contact with the check source located on the survey meter if a check source is available. Finally, move the meter away from any source of radiation and check the background radiation with the survey meter selector switch on the lowest scale. The needle on the meter will fluctuate, so take an average. The background generally runs between 25 to 75 counts per minute, or CPM. You will need to determine the background so you can base your contamination levels on twice background. Now you're ready to begin surveying.